3% economic growth rate. Forget about profits, forget about the stock market rally. You're looking forward and you're saying that the Fed has made, the Federal Reserve has made a fundamental shift and is taking enormous amounts of money out of the economy. At the is worst, that accurate? Accurate. And so the first how are they taking all this money out of the economy? How do they do that? They're simply allowing their uh, balance sheet, which reached $4.5 trillion, to shrink by not reinvesting when Treasury bonds mature. And that's the same thing as selling bonds. And it, it's happening at the worst possible time when Washington has lost its fiscal sanity. It's going to be borrowing $1.2 trillion this year, in the year we're in. I'm not talking about the distant future. So now think about this. Treasury sells $1.2 trillion in new bonds. Uh, the Fed dumps $600 billion of old bonds. I do the math. It's 1.8 trillion of homeless debt looking for a home in the bond pits. Now it will find a home, but not at 3.2 percent yield on the 10-year. It's going to okay. four, four and a half. And I don't think this market can stand a real, honest interest rate of four, four and a half, or even higher. That's that's your point. That's my point. The Fed takes money out of the economy. And the Treasury which, dumps bonds in. We still have to borrow $1.8 trillion, right, right. which means interest rates go up because you've got to attract exactly. lenders exactly. to this. And market's always clear. You know, it's not like the thing is going to go tilt and uh, you know, all the lights are going to start flashing. The market will clear at higher and higher yields. But the problem is we're now built in the 11th year of a business expansion. We're six months from an all-time record, and we have a deficit at six percent of GDP. This is unheard of. In 2000, when we had this situation, okay, the deficit, the budget was in surplus, and even in 2008, it was a minor deficit of one percent. We got six percent now, and we've got a Congress that won't cut yeah, anything. I, I hear you. Yeah, and um, we've heard you before. So he's t speaking the truth. Stockman is right that this is going to be terrible for the U.S. economy, stock market, real estate market, and probably for the globe as well. But on a silver lining, I think this is going to be great for crypto markets. And as you can see, crypto has been flat and dead because they can't really take advantage of this easy money. That's really just the stock market and real estate market that benefits. So uh, once people realize that the house of cards is falling, I do see a lot of money coming into crypto assets. And that's the main reason why cryptocurrency was created. It was created in 2009 because of the 2008 crash. And what do you know? We're doing the exact same thing and uh, the popularity of crypto will rise. There's a lot more people that understand crypto and a lot, uh, a lot of very uh, smart people coming into the crypto space that's gonna just make the growth even better. But let me know your thoughts on this and what you think, and I will talk to you soon.